Hello everyone, I am Josh and welcome to this Sims 4 room building video. Now today I am going to be building a country kitchen. Now this build is going to be for uh, Pharaoh Mouses. Um, get your build mode on. I guess that's not really a challenge, but it's a thing, I guess. Um, you know, which is kind of cool. So basically, um, it'd be great if you go check out her channel. She has a series called Get Your Build Mode On where she challenges, um, you know, her viewers to build houses um, based on a specific challenge of the month and then she looks them over. It's a pretty cool, unique concept and, I don't know, I wanted to do a room build so I thought I might as well build um, one for her um, challenge thing. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, um, for September, it's a to build a kitchen. That's what it is. So, I'm going to be building a kitchen, as you would probably tell from the title of this video. So. I'm going to be building a country style kitchen because, well, you know, um, I wanted to do that because the last kitchen build I did was a modern kitchen, so yeah. So right here I have a box, which is a pretty good start, I guess, um, so there you go. Beautiful, beautiful box, and um, yeah, so when it comes to a country kitchen, you definitely want it to be um, definitely older styled. So let me begin by first typing in... The ig ooh, that's not how you spell ignore, is it? Ig no IG ignore gameplay unlock send entitlement. Fun fact: this cheat unlocks all the locked items. Should have done that before I started recording, but of course I forgot. So yeah. Anyway, let's get a door. That's always a good. It's always a good start to get a door to a room. So um, it might be helpful to find a door that I like or an arch. You know, I might do an archway. Oh, that's not. Oh, archways are indoors. Never mind. Okay, so <laughs> um, we could get an arch or just that, which I kind of like more. So this wall will be, you know, the wall that. Oh, you know what? I would like to get two of them. So they'll be like this. So who knows what the layout of the house would actually be like? And then these two walls would be outside walls. So I think I only want windows in the back wall. So let's get a bay window because I think that will be pretty cool and annoyingly it's not gonna fit centered because I built the room to fit like a two wide thing in the center this is three wide which is really annoying so what I'm gonna do is extend this by one or I don't know if I wanna make it smaller by one or bigger by, by one but I guess we'll find out no I don't wanna change the color and then I'm gonna put two archways there you go problem solved so I'm gonna get this in the middle you know pretty nice and a couple windows on either side I think so perhaps, I don't know, like, because it doesn't have to look entirely fabulous from outside just as long as it works from inside, um, you know, so we can get these in, and I guess that's pretty interesting, like, I mean, that adds a nice kind of look to the inside. So let's just start putting a kitchen together, because after all, it is a kitchen build. Um, so yeah, what I want to do with the window is have it, there we go, actually, I should, no, I'll leave the other two. But I want it to be just above the counters, and I just placed that one wrong. All right, so um, I'll leave areas for corner cabinets in, obviously. So what I like to do is just start by placing in all the cabinets, and then I get rid of like them and create spaces for fridges and ovens and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, actually, you know what? Okay, what we're going to do, I'm going to grab the overhead cabinets and um, some nice storage units. You know, it's always good to have. All right, come on. Let's go on the floor. One and two so you know you can have some storage and then over here um, I'm gonna get rid of a couple cabinets and for some reason it always says move to household in inventory even though it's there is no household inventory for it to move to and yeah it's just weird so we could get the fancy fridge in or we could get I'll get this one in I don't know why I feel like it's not an ultra modern kitchen that's like super um, what's the word it's not like super high tech or anything, so I feel like, you know, you'd have some maybe slightly older appliances. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get that up there, and also I really want to get the cool kitchen, hold on, let me just go and grab, oh, show all and filter by cool kitchen, do 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 do, cool kitchen, because uh, I want to use this shelving unit here. I really love this thing, I used it in my other kitchen build, and it comes in white. It, it looks really cool, I don't know why, I just love the look of that, you know, you got like some spices up there and stuff. No, it just adds that extra bit of detail. <laughs> so let's get a end piece. So we can get, well actually we can get like that. Oh, that's not right. We can get like that. 
and then this end piece. I really wish you could use these kind of end pieces out. Well, I mean, of course I can. I just need to turn on move objects. You know, move objects solves any problem that you might have. There you go. So we can get that on the end. And let me just grab a normal counter because I want to, um, well, not a normal one, but I want to get an end piece. That's the wrong end piece. There we go. So, you know, it kind of doesn't go all the way out to the corner, but I think that's good. So also, what would be really handy to have is a inner corner for these two corners. And I want to do something over here. I'm not sure what. Mm, I guess what we could do, like we could put these up here on like either side of that, but that just looks, I don't know if that looks a bit weird. I mean, it's a bit weird, isn't it? So, oh, I just changed it to nighttime. Did not mean to do that. That's, um, I was looking for the K key, not the L key. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do here. You get like some... You definitely use like these kind of cabinets, because I really want glass fronted cabinets. So like, if we do this, um, they're going to be different though, which is the only thing. Which I guess this isn't too bad, but like they kind of like weirdly have the same exact thing in it as the one above and below. I don't know. Anyway, also I want to get some shelves in. So let's get what would be like an appropriate shelf. Uh, like we could carry it like all the way. Something that mm, see the only issue with these they don't join. Uh, so let's get rid of those. These do join. Oh, that's perfect. So if we bring those across, it looks so nice and um, old-fashioned-ish. Uh, yeah, let's get white. Oh, they do come in white. That's a good thing because the my favorite counters not counters my favorite shelves these They don't come in white. It's really frustrating Anyway, some nice shelves there and we can get a nice sink uh, I really love like the sinks that have like these kind of golden not golden but like bronze handles like, Look at that. That looks so cool. It definitely like because I'm going for like a country kind of look here Um you know, like a country kitchen is what it's called. So that's what I'm trying to do. Also, I didn't leave any space for an oven, which is a little bit of an oversight. Maybe I can sneak it into an island. I don't know. But let's give an island a shot. You know, it's, it's always good to have an island. So if we do it like this, and I want to get some... Why is that not going into position? What, what are you doing? Oh, it's backwards. Uh, let's get some angled pieces. You know, have a very fancy curvy island. Look at that. Oh, that's not right. Okay, stop messing up. Okay, there you go. I don't know, does that like look too gigantic? Like, I mean, like, you have this huge island. Maybe you move the sink onto the island, and then you put the oven here. So let me just grab one of those real quick. I want this one. Uh, you know, I don't know how that looks, because it looks like the sink should be in front of the window. I don't know. Uh, let's get in a slightly darker color. Yeah, I think that, I mean, it's not too bad, because then we, we could get, like, um, not that. They have more country-like, um, like this one here. They have a lower one. Oh, like this. Oh, well, that's a bit too low, isn't it? Wait, was there no... Oh, here's the medium one. That's what I was looking for. Like that, although it's, like, against the... Win okay, look, that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna move this here. So this is the one thing I hate about putting the oven there, though, is that it puts this... It has that stupid thing that sticks up. Drives me nuts. I don't know if I want to put the oven there and then have the range hood, not really range hood, but you know, have that in the center. See, I don't know if I like that though. That's the only problem. Um, well, let's see. If we put these back, is this, I mean, okay, look, this is too big. Let's get a better sized range hood first. I think that would be a good starting point. You get like the small one doesn't look too bad. You know, it fits pretty well. Get the sink back. You know, that looks not, that looks pretty good. And obviously we need some more cabinets. I mean, we're, there's not enough cabinetry going on in here. So if we can get, like, you know, just as long as these all go across the same. I mean, it's kind of weird is that these don't match in height. So now they match in height. Okay, I'm going to drop these all down. I'll leave the shelves there though. You know, just so they match, because otherwise it's a bit weird, you know, if they're not matching. I also get the inner corner, which I just realized I didn't put the... Oh, these stupid windows are going to get all in the way. And I can't move the window from... Okay, well, that's not going to be there then. We could use these end pieces. Like, look at that. I mean, actually, that works really well. And then you could rotate it 
and put it there too. Wow, okay, that worked brilliantly. Get another one of these, beautiful. So, it actually looks pretty good. Now you have this nice white kitchen. I don't know about the white, like, because there's a lot of other color. You could get black with white. Oh, this is gonna be painful, cause, like white counters. You can get black with white counters. It's gonna be really, or I could just do a black island, you know, as like a pop of color. I don't know, like, is that good? Like having a black, I think the black island looks pretty good. Okay, now let's get rid of the grid and try to put some kind of flooring down. So I kind of want like a brick or stone, like something a bit more rustic. Like, the, oh, the brick looks pretty cool. The stone looks pretty good too. Uh, let's turn the brick the other way and we can get red, red with white grout or just red with red grout. I don't like the red though, that seems a bit weird. You get some classic tiles, or that's a bit not kitchen-like. I wish that this tile came in a bunch of different colors, because I really like it, but it does not come in any other colors, which is kind of sad. This comes in a lot of colors. It comes in, ooh, that's gross. And you can get like, no, I choose chose that color. You know, I mean, that's not too bad, but, ooh, I li okay, you know what? I like this, kind of, um, this brick looks really nice. Definitely not white. You get like the that. Oh yeah, that looks nice because it kind of looks more rustic. Got that brick going. Um, let's get some stools so your Sims can sit down. What would be appropriate? Like there's these that came from Spa Day, but they don't fit in. Uh, that no, no. I guess these would be like the most appropriate. Although the colors, the pink is not what I was thinking. Um, you could get like. Mm, I want like a white, or I guess we could do that. How does that look? That's not too bad, actually. That looks pretty nice. I mean, it's a bit white, this kitchen. I mean, there's definitely a lot of white going on, which I think I want to inject some more colors. Put a fire um, detector over there. Uh, let's get let's get a dishwasher. And get a white dishwasher so it fits in with the cabinets. Uh, we can put it over there. Um, what else? We can get a microwave oven. Also put it over there, like over the dishwasher, you know, and a coffee machine, which is probably nice to have, you know, so some nice um, amenities. Uh, I also want to get a pot and pan rack. There's, all, there's a really kind of, oh yeah, this one right here. This one kind of has like a country look to it, though it's a bit high up. Is I know there's a lower version. Yeah, this one. Although this might be too low. That looks a bit low, doesn't it? Like here, well, I guess you'd have to be able to reach it, so it would make sense that it was kind of lower. So it just kind of hangs over the top there and you can get it in like a brass and that looks gorgeous um the sink doesn't look right though i guess a black sink and like what about black appliances yeah that all looks a bit better doesn't it uh that's white we can make that black we can make that black there we go that looks better uh let's also get in a some plants i mean you know uh, this this kind of wagon cart looks like it should go outside but it looks really nice that's way too big um oh the watering can is like perfect I like the watering can. Why doesn't the watering can go on counters? It only goes on island pieces. It's so dumb. I'm gonna put it there for now. Let me get a table though. So like you can get like a little side table of some sort. Not that, obviously, but I don't know. Oh, what, what, what am I looking for this? No, um, something like that, but it doesn't fit between the archways. I might have to move the archways over. So I have to move the archways like so, and we can have like a little table in the middle and Get it to be like that color, you know, so it's kind of a bit of detail going on in here. And you could put this possibly facing the right way. Is that floating? I feel like it's floating. It totally is floating. What the heck? Why is this thing floating? What? Okay, not funny. Okay, of course it does not go on that table. Typical. So what I'm going to do is put it on there with move objects once I'm finished everything because last time I did a kitchen build, I put stuff up with move objects and then change the walls, which deletes everything that you move up and down with move objects, so then it all disappeared. So, yeah, I'll wait till I do the wallpaper, which actually, speaking of wallpaper, we should do that now. So, let me grab, we could use the blue. Blue is like a base coat, and then, oh, no, I want like a paneling of some sort, though, like where it has a base to it. I think that might be better. You could get like, no. See, it's too high up. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, because it's I'm gonna be putting tile behind the counters anyway, but I kind of I like the blue a lot. And then for a backsplash, we could use more brick, but I think that's a bad idea. So I want to get get like some. Oh, this is the, the they share the. Oh, of course the crown molding is different because 
you know, we just gotta be annoying. Um, I don't know what I want to do for walls. Um, he, no, those are not appropriate. I really love these tiles. Uh, we could get them in like a gray. No, come on, let's get some color. Get like some blue. That's a bit too intense, isn't it? Black is a bit too dark. Mm. Something has to be like a nice color. Uh, I don't know. Because like, there's this blue. Although this blue is a bit intense. I don't know. You know. It's kind of an intense blue. There's the oh the angled tiles might work well. Hold on. Is there a better? It's like there's no good blue color. That's the only problem. I really want a blue of some sort, but like they're all none of them come in a good blue. There's a blue and white. That's not blue and white. Blue and white. That looks a little bit too, a little bit not what I want. Um, we get like this. You just like put this in the whole room. <laughs> Basically, this is like my go-to thing. The, oh, we get a uh, like a light. Is that even blue? That's apparently blue. I don't know. This, this whole kitchen just looks really light colored. I guess it's not necessarily a whole bad thing, but it just is a bit bland. Let's get some of these in though. Maybe it'll look a bit better once I get some lighting in. A couple of those. These are like my favorite kitchen lights from the base game because they just kind of have that kind of old look to them. Now, of course, it's going to be dark in here without some other lighting. So, let's get some wall lights of some sort. These work pretty well. We get like one... Mm, we could probably put them under the counter. Like, put one there and put one on the opposite side. So it would be... Where even is that? Oh, it's where the microwave is. Of course it is. Okay, move it in a bit then. How far in is that? Nope, not that far in. Okay, perfect. So, that adds a bit more light over there. And I think I should get some more for this wall. So we can get some, a couple there and there. Okay, beautiful. So, we need just to really make this kitchen look a lot more detailed right now. So I'm gonna get some rugs in. We can get like some mats to go on the floor. I don't know, is that blue like too, too blue? I don't know. We can try this. Oh, no, stop. Okay. We can try this. Blue. It actually would go here, wouldn't it? Um, that's not bad. I wish there was like a darker blue for that, but I guess it works. And um, let's get... I already put... Oh, that's the only plant I ever got. Um, since I think I'm done with the walls, I'm going to raise this up so we can put this on top of this table because it wouldn't let me normally. And, um, I don't know, let's get some more plants. I'm not sure what I want to use. Something definitely that needs to look more country. I don't really know, like, what would define a country plant. <laughs> These look pretty nice, though. So we can get those. Oh, oh, yeah, the posters. That will add some color. Let's get some posters. Those posters from Cool Kitchen stuff, those are awesome. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to find them without using a um, filter, that would be amazing. I don't think I will be able to do that, though. Um, oh, here they are. Wow, that was pretty cool. So, we can put put them up on the wall. Um, I really want to use a lot of these, because I love these. They're so cool. Um, we could put, like, a couple up here. One over there. Like, a couple up here, too. I know they're kind of intersecting the cabinets, but it's not too bad. Let's get some... Ooh, we could get like an artichoke there. It looks like an artichoke. And, um, avocados. An artichoke and some avocados. And on this side, we could get like the two. There's some matching ones too. Like that one and that one. And then over here, you can get like, I don't know, some hot peppers. Some pink avocados, some lemons. I mean, I don't know. Is that like too many posters all over the place? Is that like starting to make it look too childish? Possibly. I'll get rid of that one. No, I'll get rid of those. I really like those two, so I think I'm gonna get... Oh, uh, because there's some really good things in wall decor for this. The, like these. Here we go. Uh, you can get, like, that one and that one. Like, these are kind of neat. You know, that, that looks nice. And possibly, I could find... Oh, yeah, these here. I should get in some, like, wall decor. So, like, some spatulas and mounted things there. Um, oh, I love these pots and pans, too. Uh, we could use them, like, over here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. If we get them over here, you know, you got some nice wall-mounted pots and pans. Uh, what else could we put? What would be nice to have? We can get a ribbon. That wouldn't really make sense, would it? Uh, oof, I don't know. We can get, like, a mirror, maybe. I don't know why you'd have a mirror in the kitchen, but I guess, like, why not? Put, like, a mirror over here. Let me raise that up. It's a bit weird. It'd be over the tile. 
you know, beautiful. You got a mirror. You can look at yourself in the mirror if you want to. Um, and like you know, a tissue box is always nice to have. Get one of those. And what else? Soap. You know, if you want, if you want some soap by the sink, it's also nice to have. So get some soap. Let me go back to the kitchen section because you can go into the kitchen um, library. Let's get some of these like cans, like milk cans. You know, like they look definitely very um, rustic styled. I, well, you know, you know what I mean. Like country styled. That's the word I was looking for. A fruit bowl, of course. Um, some mugs. Yeah, definitely some mugs. I feel like, I don't know why, I feel like mugs next to the coffee maker. That makes perfect sense, actually. Uh, you get, like, some little sculptures. You know, I don't know, like, what would give this kitchen necessarily, like, a feeling of being, um, of being, like, a country kitchen, but, you know, let's get some paper towels, and you can get, like, this little container of, um, you know, utensils. You know, that kind of stuff. Get a spice rack over here. So, you know, if you want to use some spices. Oh, yeah, this. This object here would be perfect, actually, for, like, the corner. Go on, get over here. No, stop spinning around weirdly. There you go. You know, like, this, like, little shelving unit is, like, perfect. You know, definitely looks very country-like. And also would be great to have is a china cabinet. You know, because country-style kitchens tend to have um, china, a lot of china. <laughs> So there you go, beautiful, and we can get like a darker color for that too. There, that looks really nice. Um, what else could we use? I mean, this is this huge open area. We could get a um, trash can, it would probably be nice to have. Put that over there. And what else could we possibly use? Um, I'm sure there's like other details I could put in here. Oh yeah, some crates. I don't know, like your crates a bit weird to have. It's like laying around your kitchen. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, I just got my pile of crates. No, that's a bit weird. Um, what else could we put? A stolen ATM. That's t entirely appropriate. Uh, oh, I don't know. Get like this. That looks very country-esque, doesn't it? Like a little... Oh, well, cookie. where's the cookie jar? Can I search for the cookie jar? We need a cookie jar. Cookie j jar. No, what? Oh, come on. That's annoying. Now you're going to maybe have to find it myself. Oh, thanks a lot. Um, there's a, there is a cookie jar. It's not in this category. I think it's in clutter, actually. So if we go to decorations and clutter, there's definitely, there's the cookie jar. Ceramic, it's called a ceramic cookie jar. So it's not just any old cookie jar. Gee, thanks. Um, also that top looks like it's about to fall off, but that's fine, <laughs> fall off that edge, but whatever. You know, it's like the cookie jar up on the shelf and for some reason these candles can't be placed on shelves. So we'll have to force them. Ooh, that's a bit weird force them to go on the shelves. Stupid candles. They kind of like go through, but no one will notice. Uh, what else? We could get like these. Oh, these are cool. You know, like some, just like make it look a bit more lived in, realistic. What else could we use? Little countertop utensils. I don't know. I'm just trying to make it look as detailed as possible. Little gardening kit. You know, like maybe there's a little gardening, like, you know, whoever lives here likes to garden. You know, you know, you gotta do some gardening sometimes. You gotta get a little p picture of your sports team up there. Uh, what else could we use? Oh, a cutting board. Yeah, like a cutting board mounted on the wall, something like over here for some reason. It wouldn't be there though, it'd be like under the counter. There's no place for it. Okay, the cutting board is going there for some reason. And you're, it's mounted on the wall too. Get some like utensils. <laughs> I don't know. Am I overdoing it? But I feel like I'm not. It just, it looks so cool when you really detail a kitchen. Uh, we got like the little sun, little sun guy, you know? He can go over here. He's, he's neat, he's cool. A little sun on the wall. Uh, what else? I, I feel like we're kind of, oh, you know what, some shades slash curtains slash something to go on the windows actually would be nice. So like these here, those are nice. And not in that color though. Like a blue or a green, just, I don't really wanna make it boring. I like the blue because, you know, that goes with the blue rug on the floor. So, you know, it kind of ties in. Also, so I don't think I can really find anything for that bay window. It's just not going to work, is it? But, you know, it's not the end of the world. Let's get some, like, little plants to go up here. Whoops, to go up here on this shelf or not. Maybe this this plant. There, he'll fit. It's a good sport. You can get in blue, too. There you go. What else could I fit up there? There has to be something. Oh, um, some cereal, perhaps? 
Can I can I like squeeze in some cereal? Um, oh, it doesn't want to. Wait, where's the cereal? What the heck? What is it doing? Okay. All right. Well, the cereal doesn't want to cooperate, so he's gonna have to go. You can just go in the corner there. This be a good little cereal box. Um, yeah. So what else? I mean, I'm just like pretty much filling this kitchen with whatever I can find. Some cookbooks would be nice. You know, like maybe you're cooking something, you want some cookbooks. Yeah, I think overall... Oh, I have it still at nighttime too, I didn't even realize. Overall, I think this is a pretty cool room. I really like it. I would paint the outside walls, but I don't want to do that because it will wreck up everything um, that I kind of use to put on the... Like, use the move objects to put on shelves and stuff. So I don't think I'm missing anything um, that you'd really want in your kitchen. Like a porcelain pig if you really want a porcelain pig there you go there's a porcelain pig in the kitchen uh otherwise yeah i think this is pretty good i mean it's a pretty simple um cozy kitchen yeah anyway this kitchen i built for uh Farrah mouse's um monthly challenge like i mentioned i'll leave a link to her channel in the description below and i greatly encourage you to check out her channel and participate if you want to um the september the deadline for September is um, September 10th, like, that's when you can make your kitchen buy. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you go check out Mouse's channel and possibly participate. And yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. And also, you can download the house in the gallery. Just wanted to mention that before I said bye. Okay, you can download the house in the gallery, too. There'll be a link in the description. Now I'm actually going to say goodbye. All right, bye, everyone.